Live from Streatham in South London, where a terror incident is unfolding tonight. One man has been shot dead by police. At least two other people are injured after being stabbed during the attack. But it is an isolated incident and they, they, they are looking, they're looking into it. Helicopters going round. My mum's gone out shopping, so I need to go and find her, you know what I'm saying? Alright guys, so behind me is a scene where all of this took place a few hours ago. Like I said, the helicopter has been circling for quite a while and uh, yeah, the news is saying that he stabbed three people before he got shot. There's a lot of footage going around. As you can see, it's only been a few hours. I'm here at 3.42, so I think this happened about around noon time or something. So they've released the identity of this man. The BBC goes on to report that he had a girlfriend loved ISIS, who by the way kill more Muslims than anyone else, admitted to wanting to conduct a terrorist attack and expressed fascination with knives. He doesn't sound at all like a model Muslim, in fact quite the opposite, but unfortunately the public won't get to hear this bit to be Islamist uh, related. This was Islamist uh, related, which really that this is uh, Islamist related and Islamist uh, related. Yeah, let's bear in mind she said this in a space of only a few minutes. The link to the faith is becoming very normalised. Despite him doing all this and then getting let out has caused people to speculate if they let some crazies out at regular intervals. They've cordoned off the road. Uh, I did manage to call my mum. She's uh, ironically still doing the shopping, uh, <laughs> but she's on the other side. So Alhamdulillah, uh, she's safe. I think this guy is more interested in moving his bus. Yeah, I think he's been waiting there for quite some time, but yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? Because the news has spread very quickly, I mean, here's a screenshot from The Guardian. Um, the Mets also said it's a terrorist incident. I don't know how they can make that conclusion so quickly, but... They appeared uh, to be at the scene almost straight away. There were armed uh, police officers. There were also, uh, it appears, undercover um, non-uniform police officers around. Uh, look, in the last few minutes, the BBC has been reporting that the attacker had just been released from prison. He had been serving a sentence for terrorist offences. This is an amazing thing, isn't it? So he's just released from prison for terror offences. He's so dangerous that we've got two men on him every time he steps out the door. Uh, and yet he's still able to go stabbing. It's interesting to kind of go there and, and uh, just see the scene. The policeman, I uh, asked him, Obviously, I have to be a bit careful because of the look and that, isn't it? They might think I'm gonna go there and flip in, join in or something. There you go, guys. The helicopter is still going. In fact, ironically, I was planning on doing a video on the coronavirus today. And because the noise was mad from the helicopter, I chose uh, just to wait. But then it just kept going, kept going, kept going. And then I checked Twitter. And then, subhanAllah. Well, whatever the case may be, it's a tragic attack and of course Muslims feel the pain when this sort of stuff happens, as statistically speaking we are greater victims of ISIS and state terrorism. Our prayers and condolences go out to those suffering from this.